In this video, we're going to look at the notion of a directional derivative. So first recall that if we have a function of two variables, that del f, del x, this is the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Intuitively, we can think of this as the slope in the x direction. So it's the derivative in the x direction. In other words, um, it's the rate of change in the x direction or just the slope in the x direction. Likewise, if we look at del f del y, this is the slope in the y direction. So what we want to do is construct a derivative where we have a slope in any direction. The way we do that is we look at a unit vector. The unit vector will tell us the direction. So here is the setup. So first, we're going to let u be our unit vector. And a unit vector can always be written in the form cosine theta i hat plus sine theta j hat. Or if you prefer in component form, this would be angle bracket cosine theta comma sine theta. So this is going to be our unit vector. So this is a unit vector. Recall a unit vector is a vector whose magnitude is 1. So if you're wondering why we can write any unit vector in this way, just think back to like your trigonometry knowledge. In trig, you, you study the unit circle. This is a circle of radius 1. So basically, this circle is a collection of endpoints, and each endpoint is the endpoint of a unit vector. Recall that any point on the circle can be written as cosine theta comma sine theta. So this is the endpoint of our unit vector. So all unit vectors uh, lie on the unit circle. Okay, so we have our unit vector and so what we do is we define the directional derivative directional derivative okay of f, so of the function f, in the direction of our unit vector. So in the direction of our unit vector, our unit vector is, and the notation is a little bit funny. Okay, it's a little bit different. So it's a big D for derivative and then we have our unit vector here then we have our function f of x y so this will give you the directional derivative at x y and the direction of our unit vector uh, u so this is equal to and it's the partial derivative of f with respect to x at x y times the cosine of theta plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y times the sine of theta. Okay, So this is the directional derivative uh, in the direction of u at x, y. Let's do a simple uh, example so you see how this works. So here's a really easy problem. We have f of x, y. And it's simply going to be x squared plus y squared. So x squared plus y squared. And our point is 1 comma negative 2. That's going to be our x and y. And our angle theta is pi over 4. And so we want the, uh, the directional derivative of this function in the direction of theta okay, at this point. So what we do uh, is we create our unit vector. So first of all, our unit vector is going to be um, cosine of pi over 4 comma sine of pi over 4. And this would be square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. So it's a pretty easy one. All right, and then now we just uh, use the formula. So we have, oh, and the partials. So the partial of f with respect to x is just 2x, right, because you treat the y as a constant. And the partial of f with respect to y is 2y because you treat the x's as a constant. So the directional derivative of f in, dire in the direction of the unit vector the point 1 comma negative 2 
let's see, let's be really careful here. So it's fx at xy. So basically our x is 1, so it's just 2 times 1 times the square root of 2 over 2. And then fy at 1, negative 2. So you just plug in negative 2 here. So you plus 2 times negative 2. And then um, sine, sine of pi over 4. So that's going to be square root of 2 over 2. All right, that's this one here. So this one goes here, and this one goes here. Okay, these cancel, so you just get uh, the square root of 2 minus these cancel here. So minus 2 square root of 2, so you get minus square root of 2. And that is the final answer.